What's going on YouTube? My name's Alex, this is Ask the Cheese Gaming. Welcome to my final review of 2021. I'm gonna finally take a look at Mario Paint, which was developed by Nintendo Intelligent Systems and published by Nintendo, with a North American release date of August 1st, 1992. Mario Paint is an open canvas game. There's no sweeping story or narrative here. This game is most famous, or infamously known, for being the game that requires and is compatible with the Super Nintendo Mouse. You cannot use any kind of controller for this game. When you start up Mario Paint, you're greeted with an open canvas with a whole plethora of options, colors, and different styluses, or paintbrushes, I guess? Sure, we'll go with paintbrushes to use. There's whole varying types of brushes and colors to let you just go crazy with. You can even use pictures of certain Mario characters, such as like Goomba or Mario Face to use as well, to put into a picture. So, there's lots of room to explore. Now, the best part of this game has to be the music editor. I mean, it's not quite as good as some of the apps that are out there today, but for something in the 16-bit era, it's a lot of fun. Next, since we're actually already on music, I want to touch about the music in this game. If you like games like Tetris or Tetris and Dr. Mario, you're going to enjoy this music. It's kind of calming and got a nice melodic vibe to it. Not much more to say about this game, everyone. Except, to answer the question, should you buy Mario Paint today? Well, if you have a small child, I'm talking about like five or six, then absolutely. Or, if you're just looking for a game and you have the Super Nintendo Mouse, and you want something you can kick back and relax to, then sure, go ahead and give Mario Paint a try. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you in 2022. Until next time. Oh, and did I mention there's a whole bunch of mini-games in this game, too? Yeah, that's kind of cool.